Hello YouTube. Right, no mucking about. Quick video. MH17. Um, the real purpose for it was to um, take attention off the ground invasion in Gaza. Which, even with this other media thing with MH17, is... Um, plenty of protests going ahead about what they're doing and um, people's opinions is changing so I just made a note of some of the things that made me think the whole MH17 uh, Malaysian flight was BS maybe all those people did die and if they did it's just the powers that be sick joke or sacrifice to their uh, evil gods right so I'm just going to go through what I've written so I, I won't make this too long um, flight path differed by 300 miles north than the last two weeks right well this is in the BBC breaking news <laughs> there was, the BBC had no reaction to this they had a short break and then they can continued on a different angle. Okay, so my senses were being heightened. Malaysian Airlines have the Trident as their logo. So that just means to me that they're in with the um, Illuminati lot. And so, you know, they'll be part of their game quite easily. Funny I've been writing MH70. <laughs> The MH17 looks just like Putin's plane. Putin was flying nearby at the time. Hopefully two planes weren't shot down. Well, I know no. <laughs> Putin's alive and well. Um, so possibly they were going for Putin's plane. And that was their um, goal. No footage of bodies have been seen. Well, this was all... the breaking footage and it seemed to be the same images all around and I couldn't see a single body in any of the pictures there was one I had to pause and it, I thought is that, is that a body it kind of looked like the pink colour of a, something somebody would wear but then I paused it and you could see it was like <clears throat> two sort of cushions Apparent relatives of passengers were hoarded into a bus. I mean, you know, that was all just a bit weird. I'm not saying they are actors. I'm just saying they could be. Right? Well, how do we know? Right? Why such a long delay with the nationalities of the passengers? That took a long time, you know. That sort of stuff's usually out pretty quick, isn't it? And if this was so quick... Onto that. One eyewitness reported two explosions. Another reported many explosions or shooting or fighting going up on the air, up in the air. So two completely different reports, but no, no one said there was one explosion. At the same time, Israel invades Gaza on the ground. That's what I said. Footage of crash site is very selective and ambiguous. I don't know why I put ambiguous. <laughs> Long word. don't know what my meaning was. Um, but, you know, you had this picture with the tail fin, you know, and then that was used as the main sort of thing, background in the uh, news reporting. Witnesses reported that bodies weren't fresh. They stank of decomposing flesh. So that's interesting. I can't remember what that was, where that one came out. But, it, you know, I'm not making it up. Bodies burnt to skeletons, but passports all looking brand new. Well, yeah, Darbu has been doing good coverage of this. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. 
all these passports looking brand spanking new and tickets come on what is this amateur hour but the annoying thing is people are still falling for it a Ukrainian fighter was sent up and was about five to seven kilometers away from MH17 when it went when it went off radar which is within the fighters range where did they get refrigerated train from? <laughs> right? How are they so quick to move all the bodies into a refrigerated train? I mean, there's a war going on. Someone's like, quick, get those bodies in bags and stick them on a refrigerated train. I don't care if they're burnt to ashes <laughs> and skeletons. Just get them in the bags and get them out of here. Get them onto a refrigerated train, quick! Because they already stink. Because they've already been out since the last Malaysian plane got lost. And that's the other thing, which I haven't wrote here. But, you know, I knew that was dodgy. They'll probably find it. You know, maybe this is a thing to... Maybe they knew this would get all the conspiracy people going. And um, then they'll find the missing Malaysia plane and debunk all us conspirators and there'll be no more conspiracy theories ever. Yeah. I mean, refrigerated train. Hello? <laughs> what, what are they trying to make us do? Think of World War Two again? Bizarre? Or what? I didn't see anyone carrying any bodies away. We all know it's weird. We all know it's wrong. And it probably had a few uses. Maybe they were trying to shoot down Putin. Maybe it was a mistake and they just thought, oh, at least that's taken some attention away from the ground war in Gaza. Or maybe the Israelis thought, oh, plane crash. Let's invade now. But they're probably going to anyway. So yeah, that'll do. Do you want a song? No. It's too late. I wouldn't know what to play anyway. Next time. Goodbye. Okay,